Hello, welcome to the uh, IB Math Standard Level uh, Examination Paper Demo Series. Um, today we will look at uh, a trigonometric function problem uh, that was tested in May 2014. Um, so this is also um, a common type of question involving uh, trigonometric functions which involves um, getting information from the graph and finding unknowns on the equations. As you can see, it's given that the function is in this form, in such form y equal to p sine bracket qx plus r. One thing that we should notice is the maximum point A and the minimum point B. Yeah. Okay. So to figure out P, we always recall that the amplitude of any sine function. From the graph here, we know that the max, the distance between the maximum point and the minimum point, I mean the vertical distance, is 1, right? Because we look at the y coordinate, 2, and the y coordinate of point B is 1. So we know that the amplitude is 1. The distance between the maximum and the minimum point is 1. So we know, from the basic form of the sine function, we know that the distance between the maximum and the minimum point is 2 because the maximum, the maximum is 1, the minimum is negative 1, so the distance should be 2. Okay. But now the function shows that the distance between the maximum and the minimum point is 1. That means it has been multiplied by a scale factor of half, which implies that P is half. Okay. So now what? So now we have got P. So then we can take a look at R. R is the y-intercept of the function. That means the value of y when x equal to 0. So we see here the y-intercept is 1.5. So we can immediately conclude that r is 1.5. So another two points. Okay. So q is a bit tricky. But we have two points actually. So we know that from A, it is pi over 6, 2. So we can substitute this point into the equation, which is 2 equal to half. As we know, P now is half, sine qx plus. Okay, so by rearranging terms, we know that sine qx equal to 1. Like we subtract um, we minus 2 to 1 half, then multiply both sides by 2, and we get sine qx equal to 1. So we can argue that q. x sine qx equal to 1 when x equal to pi over 6. Okay. So 
that means sine q multiplied by pi over 6 is equal to pi over 2 because we know that